hopefully it's 360 HDR. I guess we'll see. All right. All right, I'm recording. Said I had audio. Microphone does not look like it's in the way. Should be good. Although I am sitting now, so I probably should stand up. Coming up to you there, John. Guess Alex is up ahead. There he is. Well, at least we got a nice, beautiful uh, sunrise ish. A little fog. <clears throat> Camera, I can feel the wind. Whoa. Yeah, I'm feeling the wind. All right, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. All right, camera's getting a lot of wind resistance. So bring it down a bit. All right, I'm going to stand up. There we go. Yeah, I get a lot of wind resistance on the camera, so. Yeah. doing for speed here save our battery for going to downtown Tampa all right so what do you want to do about 20 looks looks like Alex is going much faster I mean all right I mean we could do 25 I mean I don't know we are hitting some wind too so I just don't know range wise what we're gonna do so okay 20 it is it's 30 30 is going to kill the battery. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's on the Sherman. He's got the range to do whatever. That is true. All right. I like to put the camera all the way up, but I got a feeling that uh, the wind is a little rough sometimes. It's a good fish over there. Is that a dolphin? So, some, yeah, something was at the surface there. I probably maybe got it on camera. Yeah, that could have been what it was too. Could have been a bird submerging. Keep in the lower 20s here. No, I'm fine. Actually, actually feels pretty comfortable. Yeah, I don't know if we're heading into the wind or not, but if we are now, that means we won't be later, but it's hard to say, or maybe we'll get it both ways. I just don't know on the full range of this trip and where we're going and what's all high speed, low speed. You know, we're we gonna have to do 30, 40 somewhere, or is this all gonna be, you know, sidewalks or I don't know. Yeah, we've never done this trip. I mean, I've done across the causeway to Ben T. Davis, but he's talking downtown Tampa, so down to Riverwalk. If we're going to Riverwalk, that's a that's a little bit of a trek, I would think. Yeah, I guess if it gets too late, we could always turn back or something too, so. Or if we need to charge, I did bring a charger, so. 
if we knew we were going to charge, we know we are going to charge, I'd say let's just rip it and do 30, 40, but not knowing. Hello. I guess she knows she's on camera. She was waving. Yeah, I know. I'm saying it. She was all happy to see us, and I got a camera going, so I don't know if she was trying to get in the camera or not. Like, hey, he's doing a video. I want to get in on that. Yeah, the wind, I'm feeling the wind on the camera. So it's from the north. Oh, Alex has got his camera off to the right. That might be smart. See how he did it? So that way the wind is, why is he still going to push it to the right? Depending on which way your camera turns. Let me rotate it this way, see if it helps. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what the best direction is. Mine's worse because I got the uh, microphone on it, the DJI. So I got all the extra flat surfaces. Yeah, to the north. Yeah, that helped, turning it. As long as it stays. I'm not really locked in on my stick. And there's a little bit of gustiness, too. Alex is, Alex is recording the ground. Yeah, I'm going to say he's got it down by the, the street. I have to hold mine. I put it down in the street, the stick extends and drags the ground. I'll dump my camera. Well, they do lock, but they don't, when they're collapsed, there's no lock. Right, yeah, pretty much. Got another couple people here, don't know we're here yet. Guess you're very observant. Well, I do like the fact that we have intercom and Alex is not way out there, so that's handy. Yes! Finally! That way when we're at 50, he'll be at 80. You're at 92? It, it must go down fast on yours and then go down slow. Mine is pretty consistent. every time you stop yours goes back up too check my recording it says I'm recording hopefully I'm in 360 mode I couldn't see how to switch it so hopefully it's, it said HDR I'm assuming HDR is automatically 360 Well, there's, there's, yeah, there's different modes. Well, you know what? I guess we can check it later on up here. Alex can show me how to use my stupid camera because I couldn't find out how to find the button. Normally, I can't not find it. I know. That's what happened to me on that trail with Nick. I was in uh, the 2D view looking at the sky. Camera. 
It's giving me some leverage on the wheel. It's like having a sail. But bring it in again. Bring it in a little bit. There you go. I got less leverage now. And now I can do like Alex and be like, oh, I want to point at the ground because I can hold it with my fingers. Yeah, well I, can, well, I can hold wherever the end piece is. Yeah. Woo. Inline skaters. She just brought a regular stick, but I was thinking I wanted some uh, some view. Now that lady's giving us thumbs up. I didn't see that. Yeah, she was thumbs up on us. Like, unless she runs with her thumb up, I don't know. That'd be kind of weird. You might get hurt. <laughs> don't go on. Yeah, don't ride on the rocks. That's not a good idea. Salt water is not good for your wheel anyway. Yeah, it's bad for the bearings. You don't want salt water in your bearings. Well, you're a little guy. And you're on a 90 pound wheel, you need a 100 pound wheel. Did you like he went way around me? Alex dreaded riding next to her. She had dreads if you didn't notice. Yes, dad jokes on the weekend. I told Alex I came up with one for his uh, his wheel too. You want to hear his joke? The joke I told you. All right. The joke is, Alex, you want to ride? Sure, man. <laughs> That's my dad joke for Alex. Of course, you have to know that he's the one that always wants to ride first, I guess, and then fact that he also rides a Sherman, I guess. It's kind of an insider joke, but it fits him good. Limited audience. Those rocks are scaring you one bit, but I never felt like I was being pushed. Not towards the rocks, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had some surges and gusty stuff, but nothing is pushing me around, really. It is definitely from the north, though. Look at the water. That's crazy. Yeah, I doubt it's going to die down. Alex looking over the side. Uh, it's on your it's on your side then. If you're hearing something.
getting gusty up here. Charge going down. Yeah, you're up high. Yep, it is worse. Luckily, we have heavy wheels, so it's not a problem. I feel sad for John, he's on the light. Yeah, it would be worse than the V11. That's a smaller tire and a lighter wheel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe it's your body would throw you around, plus the nimbleness. Yeah. yeah, Golden. Patty likes Goldens. That's a fat Golden there. That's a big fat Golden. Jeez. Windy, Alex is recording again. Yeah, you go. Rocks for Alex. Alex on the rocks. He's backing his bike up. It's not be electric. John, right alongside the edge of the rocks, just for Alex. <laughs> right down the barrier. <laughs> Makes him nervous. Let's just jump the curb towards the rocks. <laughs> He was worried about the uh, curb jump with the lake on the other side we did. And I was like, that seems very far away. I'm pretty sure you'll stop your wheel before you go onto the rocks. I mean, why would you not slow down and stop? Yeah, I kind of want to check my battery percentage, but I got my camera out, so. Let me put my camera down a bit. Let's see what my battery percentage is. No people. Uh, 88%. John doesn't know where he's at unless he gets his app out, right? Hey, Alex, I'm riding along the edge of the rocks. <laughs> Didn't have a choice. There were people. You're at 86 and I'm at 88. That seems weird. Well, we'll be equalizing here in a little bit. I wonder how many miles we've gone. Not to mention six miles. Well, six miles at 88% is about right then. That's about what I get. Oh, you did? Where were you riding? Circles? Okay. Why are you thinking you did nine then, if it's only six? Oh, we've gone nine miles? Wow. Nah, it's like six miles. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think some of these people act like they ain't never seen us before.
I know. That was funny. I was kind of saying you wheel people, but I figured you really knew what I meant. Of course, you have your headlight on too, you know that. It does, but it's like on all the time, it seems like. I wonder if there's a disable switch, because that's extra drain you don't need. I mean, well, there's a, on the app it does it, but I don't know if there's a way to do it, do it there or not, or if it's going to come back on. It's off now. I'll, I'll let you know if it comes back on again. Yeah, and the automatic kicks on like all like daytime running lights. <laughs> hey Alex, there's some rocks way out in the water. <laughs> well, I guess I better call and check in with my wife since we changed plans. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Uh oh, my phone's not on. Crap. That sucks. Hey Siri. Nope, no phone. Oh well, I guess I could cycle the power to my helmet. Let me try that. Well, intercom's back on, but uh, no phone, so. For some reason my phone isn't working to my headset. Must have lost the pairing or something. Got a lady here and a lady running. Looks like we have time. Got bikes coming too though. See if my speedometer, yep, my GPS to my phone is working, but it's weird. Well, if we get, if I get 10% or 10 miles at 80, at 15% usage of battery, if I get down like 85% 10 miles, that'd be pretty good for me. Narrow. Is there rocks? <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing with you. Hey, we got high pedals. What are we worried about? Right. It's a little bit narrow, though. I don't think John felt too nervous, though. Kind of funny, your wife's on TikTok and you didn't even know. No, it's, it's funny. She's like, she's like, yeah, I got TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, well, you don't use it, so it didn't mean anything if they said it. You kind of forgot. But it was just funny. She's like, yeah, I got TikTok. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you do. Then you can see our videos going across the causeway. No, looks good. Got to watch these trees. Yeah, this is Ben T. Davis, yeah. Yeah, so there's a pavilion up, no, and there's a pavilion up here, and um, they got uh, fruit smoothies that are really good. So that's what I thought we were gonna do, is go over to the, get some fruit smoothies, head back, go back to Oldsmar, but uh, Alex wants downtown Riverwalk.
park. So see that building, that building right there? That's where the uh, refreshment place is. But they make like fresh made, like with lots of watermelon and stuff. It's pretty good. I had them a couple times. No, we're already now. It's a, now it's a short trip. Yeah, we didn't ride Oldsmar, so. Well, if that's the case, we got plenty of battery. Geez, I'm down to uh, 84 percent. <laughs> I could turn off my halo, I guess, but no need. Uh, Alex's camera away. I'm going to put mine all the way up for now. There we go. Full height on the camera stick. This is the beach beach. Well, sort of the beach beach. Then the restaurant's up here on the right we go to. The hotel's on the left up there. Or is it right here? One of these hotels. Joe Coons will know where I'm at because this is where they do their Christmas parties every year lately. Unless this is last year, I don't know. Okay, let me put my camera away. Um, he'll be in turn lane. Good, he sees me, good. Okay, let me do shut down recording and